Welcome back to A320 Knowledge, your trusted source for Airbus expertise. Today, we'll be diving into the AC Essential Bus Fault ECAM procedure. The first flight crew member to notice cancels the master caution. The pilot flying should follow the Airbus golden rules of fly, navigate, and communicate. With this failure, CM1 loses both their PFD and ND screens. In this case, CM2 should now assume the role of pilot flying. In addition to this, the upper ECAM screen is also lost, and the lower ECAM screen displays the failure. As with any ECAM procedure, the pilot monitoring announces the displayed failure and confirms the failure by inspecting the overhead panel and or the SD pages. Next, the crew consider if any OEBs are relevant, and if not, then the pilot flying calls for. ECAM actions. The first line of the ECAM states, Engine 1 Igniter A Fault. This is associated with the AC essential bus failure. It is for crew awareness only and can be cleared. Clear Engine 1. Clear Engine 1. Engine 2 Igniter A Fault. Clear Engine 2. Clear Engine 2. ELEC AC Essential Bus Fault. In this case, the crew should confirm the failure of the AC Essential Bus Bar. The electric SD page will not be automatically displayed as there is only one screen operative. However, it can be recalled by pressing and holding the ELEC push button on the ECAM control panel. It should display the AC Essential Bus Bar in amber. Having now confirmed the AC essential bus fault, the ELEC push button can be released and the rest of the ECAM actions can be completed. AC essential feed, alternate. ATC, system 2. This is a non-monitored line, so the next step is to call clear ELEC. Clear ELEC. Auto flight, yaw damper 1, rudder trim 1, and rudder travel limiter 1 fault. These are all for crew awareness, so clear auto flight. Clear auto flight. To view the status page when operating with a single ECAM screen, the status button must be pressed and held. Status. Stop ECAM. At this point, both consider any normal checklists or incomplete flows, any potential system resets, or any additional procedures that are applicable. So on the status page, we are now CAT1 only. The inoperative systems are ADR1, ILS1, GPS1, Rudder Trim1, Rudder Travel Limiter1, CAT2, SDAC1, the Captain's Pedo and Angle of Attack Probes, GPWS, GPWS Terrain Function, Yaw Damper1, Flight Warning Computer1, DMC1, and ATC Transponder1. Remove status. Remove status. ECAM actions complete. The alert is triggered when the AC essential bus bar is not supplied. A point to note, the warning may be caused by a sub bus bar failure. As a result, only a part of the listed inoperative systems may be lost. This is because each bus bar is further divided up into many sub bus bars. A further inoperative system that will be lost that is not displayed on the status page is the passenger oxygen masks. Both automatic and manual deployment of the masks is lost with this failure. If the aircraft is permitted to depart with this failure via the MEL, then the operational altitude is limited to 10,000 feet. In most scenarios, this is unfeasible and will require maintenance rectification. The ECAM is inhibited for only the most critical phases of flight. These are flight phases 4 and 8, which are from 80 knots on the takeoff roll until liftoff, and from touchdown until 80 knots upon landing. When the ECAM directs the crew to select the AC essential feed to the alternate setting, this switches the supply of the AC essential bus from AC bus 1 to AC bus 2. This may recover the entire AC essential bus and resolve the failure. However, this is not guaranteed. If it is unsuccessful, the majority of the equipment on the AC essential bus might be lost. 
Whilst the majority of the equipment does have a redundant backup, this can prove to be a very challenging failure, especially with the lack of screens. The loss of CM1 screens is the reason the aircraft is limited to Cat 1 approaches. The good news is there are no landing distance or fuel penalty factors to consider with this failure. Thanks for tuning into this tutorial on the AC Essential Bus Fault ECAM procedure. Thank you.